The presence of magnetic fields is crucial for a planet to retain its oceans. Once a planet loses its magnetic field, the atmosphere and water are also lost. Earth's magnetic field is what differentiates it from Mars, and strong magnetic fields might be uncommon in the cosmos. The surface of Mars is devoid of vegetation and dry, with the limited water present being frozen in ice caps, or potentially existing beneath the surface. However, upon closer examination, one can observe features resembling shorelines or canyons that indicate the occurrence of massive floods in the past. It is believed that billions of years ago, Mars had a denser atmosphere and slightly warmer air. By studying deltas on Mars, similar to those found on Earth, some researchers have proposed that the planet was partially covered by oceans. Another line of evidence comes from analyzing Mars meteorites, which provide insights into the planet's chemistry billions of years ago. Both pieces of evidence suggest that around 4 billion years ago, a vast ocean covered Mars' northern hemisphere. Unfortunately, this ocean is now just a distant memory. A study conducted by the University of Tokyo and published in Nature Communications in 2022 offers an explanation for this phenomenon. Mars lost its magnetic field billions of years ago. Without the protection provided by a magnetic field, the atmosphere was gradually stripped away, leading to the evaporation of the oceans as water vapor escaped into space. The solar system is an inhospitable environment where even our life-sustaining sun can be destructive. The sun emits significant amounts of radiation that would have detrimental effects on our planet if not for the shielding effect of our magnetic field. Without this magnetic field, the solar wind would erode our atmosphere, causing the oceans to evaporate and be lost to space. In essence, Earth would resemble Mars. Among the rocky planets in our solar system, Earth is the only one with a robust magnetic field. This presence is likely a major factor contributing to the stark differences between Mars and Earth. However, billions of years ago, Mars also possessed a strong magnetic field. So, what led to its demise? To investigate this question, a team led by Shunpei Yoku from the University of Tokyo conducted experiments simulating the core of Mars in a laboratory on Earth. The researchers created a material using a combination of iron, sulfur, and hydrogen, which are believed to be present in Mars' core. Sulfur is likely found in the core since Mars meteorites, which provide samples of the planet's crust and mantle, do not contain many elements typically associated with sulfur. Hydrogen may be abundant in the core due to Mars' proximity to the snow line in our solar system, where water ice was plentiful during the formation of planets. Yoku explained that further observations of Mars quakes through NASA's InSight mission could help verify the assumption that the core is a liquid consisting of iron, sulfur, and hydrogen. The researchers then placed this iron, sulfur, and hydrogen mixture between two diamonds and subjected it to laser heating, replicating the high temperatures and pressures within a rocky planet's core. As a result, the material separated into two distinct liquids one containing iron and sulfur, and the other containing iron and hydrogen. The less dense liquid with hydrogen rose to the top, creating convective currents as the liquid separated. This process mirrors what likely occurred in Mars' early history. The iron-sulfur-hydrogen liquid would have generated convective currents as the sulfur separated from the hydrogen. These currents would have generated a protective magnetic field around the planet. However, such currents are short-lived, ceasing once the two liquids fully separate and causing the magnetic field to disappear. Eventually, the atmosphere would be stripped away, leading to the disappearance of the oceans. This separation of iron-sulfur and iron-hydrogen liquids is also observed within Earth's core, but with a crucial difference, temperature. Yoku explained that the Earth's core temperature, 6,140 degvaner, is much higher than that of Mars' core. Consequently, the iron-sulfur and iron-hydrogen liquids mix together at these high temperatures. However, stratification is observed in the upper regions of the Earth's core, where temperatures are lower. Yoku stated that this is why the Earth's core is only stratified at the top, while Mars' core is entirely stratified. He added that it would take a very long time, approximately 1 billion years, for the Earth's core to become fully stratified. In other words, we have ample time.
These findings have implications for the search for habitable exoplanets. The presence of liquid water on a planet's surface in a temperature range that is neither too cold nor too hot is often considered a crucial factor in determining its potential to support life. However, it may be necessary to also consider the presence of a strong magnetic field as another key criterion for a planet's ability to retain its water. It is possible that magnetic fields, as robust as Earth's, are relatively rare in the universe.